So this is a series of application videos to share with you what you can do with NLP. And one of the things that I've always been fascinated by is parenting. Uh, although I have trained over 100,000 kids in, in my lifetime, one of the things that I've discovered is many parents come to me relatively helpless. <laughs> you know, how do I motivate my children? How do I get them to do their homework? How do I get them to listen to me? And the truth of the matter is, it all boils down to one singular rule in neuro-linguistic programming, and that is, for things to change, I must change first. The, the individual that has got the most amount of behavioral flexibility is going to be able to be adaptive enough to create a change within the system. So I'll give you an example. There was one of my students who actually came to learn NLP and said, you know, I'm going to apply this to one of my uh, cousins who happens to be autistic. And because he, this cousin of his tended to have certain kinds of behaviors that were unexplicable to the rest of the world. I mean, every time he did something he was not satisfied with, maybe he drew a picture or he did an assignment that uh, wasn't up to his standard, he'd start hitting himself on the head to a point where it bleed. And that was, you know, damaging. So instead, what happened was he started to go through a process of conditioning. And in neuro-linguistic programming, conditioning is referred to as anchoring. And anchoring can be a very powerful source of creating new and effective emotional states that can lead you to a different place. So this student of mine uh, was really, really smart. And one of the things that he saw was his cousin was constantly hitting himself over the head and bleeding. So instead of stopping him or trying to stop him, he began to mimic his actions as well, right? And by mimicking his actions, he began to do something different. Every time he did this, he started to slap his lap, thereby creating an association or a chain to move from this to this. And what happened over a course of time is he began to make that sense of frustration a different kind of feeling. And this is interesting, because every time his kid uh, cousin would get upset, instead of hitting himself on the head right now, he started hitting his, head, uh, his hand on his lap. And that was at least progress, but he was still very frustrated. And what he did was he went in and every time he saw that the new behavior was, con uh, was uh, conditioned, he would go in and reward the new behavior. How would he do that? He'd just go in and give his cousin a warm and big hug. And that was interesting because he didn't have to bribe him with external uh, like sweets or anything like that. But all he needed to do was to create a new association that was valued by his cousin. So eventually, this cousin of his began to not have to bleed so much after doing his homework in an unsatisfactory way in his own mind. Uh, he began to create more associations that were useful, that helped conversations and communication between himself and you know, someone who's autistic simply because of another uh, NLP belief system, which is this. Behind every behavior is a positive intention. Once you understand that there is a positive intention inside of you, then what you can do is to begin to think outside of that box that you've always been thinking in and begin to stop having these labels, not just of other people, but also of yourself, so that you can live life a little bit more fully and be joyful, happy, and more satisfied with your life. So, to find out more about neuro-linguistic programming, head down to stuarttan.com forward slash NLP and I'll see you on the other side.